la cérémonie de renaissance de la déesse. C'est juste le gentil ours. Ouais, pour l'instant, ouais. The nights grow ever shorter. The blue sea star returns to the sky once more. Believed to be the goddess's home, her followers look to the star and commence celebrations of her rebirth. On the grounds of Garag Mach Monastery, a grand ceremony is held in honor of this much anticipated event. Every true follower of the Church of Seros is sure to be in attendance. Ok. Oh Dimitri, avec grand plaisir Dimitri. Perfect timing, professor. If you don't mind, I have a favor I'd like to ask of you. Non, casse pas, il va se faire foutre. Euh, quel service? It's in regard to sword training, not for myself, but well, to be honest, I've been teaching swordsmanship to the orphans at the monastery for a while. Non, casse pas, il est trop moche. Euh... Je pensais que t'aimais bien, non. Some of them saw me sparring with the knights one day. They started pestering me to teach them. They were so earnest, I couldn't help but oblige. There's much I wish to show them, but due to my own studies and training, I'm afraid my time is rather limited. Which brings me to my favor. Your swordsmanship is unmatched. I hate to ask this of you, but... Would you consider lending me a hand? Uh, ouais, carrément. Thank you, truly. I am in your debt, and I always repay my debts, I'll have you know. All of these children lost their families and homes to war or illness. This may sound a bit arrogant, but I feel it's my responsibility to help them. I lost my parents without warning, too. In that way, we're the same. In Dusker, I lost my father, stepmother, and closest friends. I didn't have many allies at the castle after that. In truth, I had only to do for companionship. To do. I once had people I could confide in. Family, friends, instructors, even the royal soldiers. But they were all taken away from me four years ago. Ah, but there were those outside the castle walls I was close to, such as Rodrigue. Rodrigue. <laughs> Pardon my rudeness. I meant Lord Rodrigue. He is my Le father's old companion. And the Mais j'ai l'impression qu'ils se connaissent tous, genre. On the occasions he would visit the capital, he'd take me out hunting or on long horse rides. J'aime bien la like vibe là de ma classe, là, vraiment. Hein. Rodrigue is more like a second father. It might sound ridiculous, but. He's the kind of man I hope to become one day. Someone who helps others. Someone who can reach out and save a lost soul. Oh, please, accept my apologies for boring you with my life story. In any case, don't forget your promise, Professor. I'm counting on you. Ah, c'est vraiment ça. Quatre potes, Félix, Sylvain, Ygritte, Dimitri. Et Annette, Mercedes, euh, ouais. Ah, bon, t'as juste H. <rire> So, our task for this moon is to patrol and guard the monastery, to help put a stop to that assassination okay, okay, okay. plot. The knights will certainly have their hands full protecting Lady Rhea, and perhaps our enemy is counting on that. Ouais, euh... Please, elaborate. Ouais, voilà, s'il te plaît. <laughs> Why would Lord Lenato be carrying around a secret note with an assassination plot written on it? Isn't it possible he hoped to monopolize everyone's attention with this alleged plot? In order to distract from his true aim. Oh, qu'il est intelligent. Maybe they're after the treasure vault. Oh, there's also lots of valuable stuff in the library and Professor Hanneman's quarters. True. The monastery undoubtedly houses many weapons that rival even the heroes' relics. Whatever their aim, we can't allow any harm to come to the ladies of the monastery. <laughs> I mean, what would I do with my spare time? You mean to say we should search the monastery, try to find what the enemy is truly after? Yes. And we should be prepared to fight them as well, should it come to that. I wouldn't mind getting in some training, just in case. A secret meeting, Professor? Oh, we haven't been introduced. I am Shamir. Shamir is one of the Knights of Seros. 
And this young man here is... Who? I work for Lady Rhea, and I'm Shamir's apprentice. Oh, the name's Cyril. Yep, she's teaching me about the bow and the sword and all kinds of stuff. I've got to protect Lady Rhea, so that's why I've got to learn all I can from Shamir. Cyril adores Rhea. That aside, if you need anything... What else... more is she, oh? Le chat n'a jamais été aussi unanime de ouf. Bon les soutiens. This tent is torn. Vas-y. Can you please fix this one first, Ash? Absolutely. Sorry. I should probably take care of it myself, but we'd be here until sundown if Pas de Ingrid des dieux. No problem at all. I've had lots of practice with things like this. Happy to help however I can. Oh. Well, thanks. Actually, I'll fetch you something to make the job less of a burden. You like sweet things, right? Ah, uh, well, yes. Sorry, no, I can't ask you to do that. Ash, I told you, there's no need to act like that. I, I can't have someone from the royal family running errands for me. It doesn't feel right. I really don't mind, so you needn't worry about <laughs> that. And while I'm being candid, I'd prefer it if you didn't speak so formally to me. But We're supposed to be allies. We fought side Passons by side. Passons moi tous les Titania, tout ça, je les pas. Hein. But to commoners like me, your royalty. Non, moi je paye les machins bien nul au début, mais bien craqué à la fin. Genre. Euh... I understand. I really do. Les jours, je suis à Brice des villes, un peu fort dès le début. Je me vas-y. Euh... Perhaps I should do a tour fort à la What? No, that's not what I meant. Mag. Oh, Cormac, j'ai trop kiffé. Lutte. J'ai trop kiffé aussi. I wish to make things better, euh... but I seem to only upset you more and more. That is so. Boyd intention. sur Radiance, pas sur Radiance. Euh... Perhaps I should leave Boyd you to take care of our shopping. Please, I promise I'll go myself Boyd. just as soon as I finish with the tent. Ash, enough. Ouais, mais Cormac, c'est un passage okay. de la fin, t'as vu. I have a question. Answer me this. I don't normally eat sweets, so what would you recommend? Oh, well, if price isn't a concern for you, then you should go for the sugar candies. The ones they make in town are really delightful. Uh, oh, your highness, please, you mustn't. Got it. Oh, sugar candies it is. Ah, I'll ouais. go and fetch some. Your highness, please come back. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure these repairs get done. C'est un gros bolos, ça n'a pas changé. Good morning, your highness. Getting in some early training, huh? Intéressant oh. pour de hache. Ouais, ouais, il se fait juste bolos. And what about you? Vraiment. Oh, I'm just going for my morning walk. Hey, maybe you'd like to join me. It's a great way to start the day. Morning walk? <laughs> Funny. Gustav always kept the same habit. You really do remind me of your father, Annette. I hear that a lot. La rougie, bipou! Father was always oh. busy with work, so he wasn't around much. But when he was home, he'd often take me with him for his walks. Annette, something's been weighing on me. Something I've done terribly wrong. Uh -huh. Your father. He worked tirelessly. I don't know if I ever saw him take a rest. I feel as though, in a way, we stole him from you. I'll admit, it was a bit lonely growing up. But I understand. Father loved his work. C'est bien en tout cas ça. Ça comme ça. Actually, ça théorie crame dans le chat là. That I'd like to talk to you more, your highness. Oh? Any reason in particular? Father was a man of few words, both with myself and my mother. But sometimes he would tell me about you. So, you don't really feel like a stranger to me. In a way it's like I've known you for a long time. Almost as though you're my big brother. Your Big brother? Tcha tcha tcha! Oh, uh, I'm so sorry. I don't know why I let that slip out. That was rude of me. <laughs> no, nonsense. I promise you, I don't mind at all. It's certainly not my fault. Ouais, moi je regarde pas. Je lis pas tout de toute façon. Je lis pas tout. I had a little sister like you. What kind of things did Gustav tell you about me? I'd love to hear more on this topic. Do you really want to know? Well, for one, he used to tell this story about when you were a child, and you know what? <laughs> I have a bad feeling about where this is going. How about you forget we had this talk <laughs> person. and don't mention it to anyone? On continue. No! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Please tell me that wasn't the pin. 
What was that noise? Did you? Did well, you? As you can see, <laughs> the pan kind of exploded. Just a little. How did you manage that? I looked away for a moment and the pan just went boom! Ugh, I'm grateful nothing caught fire, but now the kitchen what? is a mess. Are you hurt? Oh, no. I just got a little spooked. Spooked. <laughs> I really lucked out, didn't I? That could have turned out much worse. Indeed. He fell off it! <laughs> but do not turn your back next time. Your life could depend on it. Right. Sorry. I'll be more careful from now on. Let me help you. Huh? I will help you clean up. No, I can't let you do that. This is all my fault. You shouldn't have to help me. I have time. <laughs> Il dit que des phrases très courtes. Presque. We will need to prepare more food before the others arrive at the dining hall. Oh, you're right. So, after we clean up, you're also gonna... T'as les DLC du jeu Euh, ouais, ouais, j'avais pris tout en promo. C'est cauchemar en cuisine. Of course not. I'm just so sorry to ouais, ouais, bother you with this. Mais j'ai rien activé pour l'instant. Wow, Ash, training again You're taking this whole night thing pretty seriously. It's just my daily training. Maybe you could stand to be a little more eager yourself If I want to be a great knight, I've got no choice but to put the effort in. No choice. I think you're making life too difficult. Parce que là, il y a deux supports parce que... Parce que... Parce que... <laughs> okay. <laughs> All I'm saying is, I've seen some pretty sloppy knights out there. That's not going to be me. I'm going to be a proud knight. Virtuous and gallant. Oh, <laughs> un peu trop bien. Virtuous and gallant? Are you kidding me? Ah, if ouais. you just ride around being virtuous, people will get fed up. They'll boot you out of town. It's never wrong to have virtue, not even if it means being made an outcast. Interesting idea. You think very highly of this whole virtue thing. Say, have there been any knights who became great just by thinking highly of themselves? Think on this. Knights are supposed to protect people and earn their admiration. Isn't that right? Well, yes. So what are you saying I should do? Seize people's hearts! <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Le problème c'est qu'en fait si je mets si bien avec tout le monde en A bah euh... It's you Ash they don't have you Ça va foutre le bordel là Be valiant help people Here I'll show you how it works Uh Sylvain don't go bothering people Hey there cutie <laughs> you seem to have lots of bags there They must oh, be putain, heavy sac. My name's Sylvain let me help you out Are these going in the warehouse Helping out those in need, I guess that's a good start. No thanks necessary. It's been enough just to be able to talk to you. Well, if you insist. How about we go get some tea? It must be fate that we met like this. <laughs> I'd like to get to know you. Great knight, huh? More like a great philanderer. Seems like all he wants to do is flirt with women. No, I can't allow this. I have to stop him. Mercedes, you look divine as always. Are you off to pray? Oh, hello, Sylvain. I was just on my way to pray. How did you guess? Well, because I've been watching your lovely... What? Oh, I get it. You're the type who's always looking at girls, aren't <laughs> you? Ah, I won't lie. I do enjoy beholding women. But I don't mean it like that with you. I know I sound like a dope. I just... I think you're special. Oh, really? You think I'm so clumsy that I need someone to watch over me. Is that why you can't take your eyes off me? You're beautiful, and I mean that. You're... Uh, how can I put it without sounding even worse? Okay, okay here goes. This. I want to get to know you better. As friends, I mean. I don't know where to begin. Well, what's something you like? I like to pray. I've been praying regularly since I was a child. You grew up in the Empire, didn't you? That's right. I was raised in House Bartels. Bartels? I thought you were born to House Martreats. It's a complicated story. I'm not sure that it's a very interesting one, but I'm happy to share it with you. I don't mean to be nosy, if it's too personal. Oh no, I don't mind. 
I wasn't trying to hide anything from you. House Martreats fell shortly before I was born. Oh. Oh. My father passed away while my mother was still pregnant with me, so she had nowhere to go. Oh, After really? I was born, my mother ended up marrying the head of House Bartels. Shortly after, my mother bore a true Bartels child who bore a crest. She and I were treated as though we were no longer useful to the family Ari after Bata. that. You think the Bartels were just using her to secure a crest? They must have been. My mother and I were removed from the family and forced to flee to a church in the kingdom. I abandoned the Bartel's name and took up our old family name again. So you grew up in a church? Okay, it makes more sense now why you're praying all the time. Yes, Aribata. praying. I forgot that I was on my way to pray. Right, and I interrupted you. Well, see you around, Mercedes. Yes, see you. House Bartels wanted a crest and ruined other people's lives to get one. These idiots are all the same. Oh, merde! Mais c'est pas euh, Flane. Oh. Bois un thé. Je peux boire un thé Ah, je peux le faire comme ça Let's go pour leur anniversaire bah, C'est bien que t'offrir des fleurs. Allez, c'est parti. <rire> je me sens un peu gêné de faire ça. <rire> Surtout avec elle. <rire> c'est son anniversaire c'est son anniversaire Moi je fais, je prends du thé Mais je pensais pas que ça allait faire ça comme ça, donc euh... T'es avec une enfant Bah oui mais c'est son anniversaire Moi je lui dis, je lui dis bon anniversaire C'est même pas ton élève, t'es avec une enfant <rire> I'm Oh Vous vous taisez, oui Merde Hop Laissez-moi, laissez-moi, je voulais tester l'option Discuter. Les enfants du marché. <rire> euh. Ça. Ça fait j'entends de boucle. Let's go <rire> Discutons, discutons, discutons. Non mais, je fais que discuter, ça va Le romantisme. Les chats Les chats Alors, c'est que si tu, si tu gères tout le truc, on va obtenir des screenshots compromettants. Comment ça, des screenshots compromettants Attends, des, attends tu vas pouvoir l'observer et tout. Ah merde. Nesquatford, les. Lively places are my favorite. I like the monastery because there are always so many people bustling about. C'est son anniversaire. Rougir. C'est quoi opiner? Je sais pas. Je vais la finir. Bah. Pourquoi elle était pas contente? Manifester son approbation. Mais connard, tu pouvais dire à qui c'est? Tout le monde connaît à qui c'est. So Jamais fait ça avec elle, c'est pas légal. Et eh bah ben, tu vas découvrir c'est quoi. <rire> Taquiné. It is a different style from everyone's <rire> uniforms, but I do love the patterning on the hem. Je peux la taquiner. Have some, professor. Attends, comment? You look odd today. Are you feeling all right? Attends. Bon, je vais arrêter ça. C'est pas bien. Ce n'est pas bien du tout. Ce, ça va pas du tout. That's the third time this month. Well, that's that. Father never relents. Oh, professor. Hello. Did you need something? Euh... Que faisiez-vous? Well, um, that is. 
was just tossing out something I have no need of. It's important to keep our spaces clean, after all. You'd do well to remember that too, Professor. A clean space makes for a clean mind, or some such. Getting rid of things you have no need for is the first step to managing one's belongings in an economical way. <rire> Alors, oui, oui, je pourrais répondre ça. C'est, c'est logique, mais en vrai de vrai, en vrai. Well, I'd love to help. I don't want people getting the wrong idea with me being alone in your room. Despite my family's nobility, we've never been particularly wealthy. So my father raised me to be conservative with my resources, paring down when necessary. He also encouraged me to keep my living spaces immaculate. So the two go hand in hand, I suppose. I think he'd be happy to hear you say that. Oh, uh, just a scrap of paper. Tu mens. It was already written on, so no good for note taking. And obviously, I can't use it to clean my lance. So I tossed it. No need to hang on to inconsequential things, you know. Tu mens. Professor, did you come to check on me for any particular reason? I hope Sylvain and Felix aren't getting into trouble as they tend to do. M'entretenir. Well, elle m'a bien ghosté. Euh, J'ai. C'est tapé à discuter. Elle m'a bien ghosté. Felix, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. Time for our tactics lecture. You'll be there, won't you? Those things are such a waste of time. Nonsense. You're going to be there. Must I? Why is this such a chore? You went last time. Though you did all you could to disrupt things, as I recall. Brazenly rambling on about clear-cutting a nearby forest to secure a marching route. And attacking an enemy base, stealing their horses. You were incredibly disruptive, and even rude. I was offering my honest opinion. Then, you left before we were finished. What do you suppose happened after that? I have no idea. Well, the conversation got quite lively. Oh. We all began breaking down the viability of your somewhat <laughs> maniacal plan. And apparently, okay. similar tactics have been used to turn the tides of historic battles. That may be an exaggeration. Successful armies must be able to handle unexpected situations. That starts with weapon mastery and creative tactics. If you didn't have so much battlefield experience, you wouldn't be capable of such unique strategies. Which is why we need people like you. People who think creatively to lead the army. Now you're just massaging my ego. When have you ever minded? We need you there. Just come on. Mm -hmm. Comment oses-tu me complimenter C'est un peu ça. Again. Yeah, that's the sigh of exhaustion after spending the past month apologizing for your behavior to, well, everyone. Apologizing? I've been pretty darn restrained lately. <laughs> If by restrained you mean falling all over yourself to garner the attention of every passing female, then yes, you've been quite restrained. Mark my words, the more you hurt people, the more weighty the repercussions will be. Your actions will come around to bite you. Ha! If I get bitten, that's all just part of the game. Heck, I had one girl's brother come after me with a pitchfork. <laughs> If you end up getting maimed or killed by a pitchfork, don't expect me at your funeral. Glenn used to make light of getting hurt too. Then one day, he got more than hurt. Now he's gone. I'm sorry. I was being... <sighs> You're right. I know what it did to you when you died. It hurt to see you hurt and not be able to do anything when you wouldn't even come out of your room to take care of your horse. Nothing affected me the way his passing affected me. Well, 
I'm happy that you're better. Seeing you out and about helped me relax enough to be able to flirt with girls. Ah oui, vous avez tous vos préférés. Je vois, je vois. Utterly disappointing. When I finally stopped mourning, you know what brought me back? My concern for you. Me? You know you can't get along without me following in your shadow and caring for you. You flirt with anything that has a pulse, offend people left and right, and constantly cause commotions. Huh. The truth really does hurt. Please, Sylvain, consider your actions before you carry them out. And stop acting so nonchalant about getting hurt or killed. Promise me that. Okay. I promise. Ah, y'a pas de tutorat là Ah, oh, bien sûr, je vais lui rendre visite à Sylvain. <rire> non, encore Qu'est-ce qu'il y a Oh, professeur. T'as oublié les soutiens <rire> Je les ferai avant la, la truc au pire. Like this, people will start to talk. They'll say Sylvain and the professor are on the prowl. <rire> ah, forget it. What do you need Des problèmes de cœur. I fell for that girl recently, but I just wanted to have some fun and leave it at that. So I told her we should break it off. I guess she was feeling a little more serious than I was. She started crying and everything got a bit. Bah t'es un peu con mon frérot. Gouja. <rire> Come on, professor. Playing around with girls is the most fun a guy can have. Besides. I don't care what you think. Je suis pas d'accord. I don't intend to change how I live my life. I'm a good for nothing, if you haven't noticed. But I'm still a noble with a crest. That's all anyone cares about. It's best to avoid getting too serious with fools like that. It only leads to trouble. <laughs> I'm going to be forced into an arranged marriage with some random noble woman anyway. By the way, professor, you didn't know you had a crest, did you? I see. I suppose a mercenary wouldn't be concerned with such things. Écoutons. Most children who are born to noble families are tested upon birth to see if they bear one. Even descendants of the ten elites, like myself, can't be legitimate heirs without a crest. That means as children, we're only accepted if we're born with one. The heads of most noble houses keep having kids until they get one with a crest. Those children then grow up to be heads of their houses, and the vicious cycle continues. Do you get it now? To all these commoner girls, I'm just a trophy, or rather, a stud horse. See, I knew you'd get it. These girls don't love me. They love the potential rewards of loving. Is sure de ça? If I marry a girl and she gives birth to a child with a crest, that kid might become the next head of House Gautier. For ages now, those of us with crests have been envied and desired, but. Never for who we are. I understand the value of my blood. Believe me, I hate how much I understand it. I know better than to dream of being free from this burden. I'm used to it by now. I used to think I didn't have the right to live freely. <laughs> That's right. You know what? I'm a bit jealous. The whole time you were growing up, you never knew you had a crest. You were free. Nobody pretended to like you. I kind of hate you for that. You were a spoiled brat who should pay for that crest. Oh. Yeah. Maybe I'll collect the debt. <laughs> gotcha. Wow. You should have seen the look on your face just then. Don't mind me, professor. <laughs> After all, ladies love a dark and brooding noble. Hello, Felix. I see you're here to train as well. Go away. Just looking at your face makes me want to wretch. <laughs> With that mouth of yours, you grow more like your brother oh, every right. day. Shut up. And stop walking around on your hind legs. You're not fooling me. I cannot fathom why you seem to hate me so. Because I know what you really are. A beast craving blood. A beast craving blood, am I? I assume you're speaking of the events two years ago. Last time we met outside the academy? I am. The way you suppressed that rebellion, it was ruthless slaughter, and you loved every second. 
I remember the way you killed your victims, how you watched them suffer, and your face, and that expression, all the world's evil packed into it. That was our first battle. I remember it vividly. What? Oh, something wrong? Go ahead and deny it, you wild boar. I deny nothing, Felix. Well then. I suppose the Dimitri I once knew died during that slaughter in Dusker, along with my brother. Perhaps you're right. Hmm. <laughs> Hurry up and get out of my sight. I don't make a habit of talking to beasts. What? <laughs> Wish! The goddess's right of rebirth is finally here. Let's move ahead with our plan. Leave it to me. Professor, are you in as well? Uh... J'ai faim. <rire> non, 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 je suis sérieux, je suis sérieux, je suis sérieux. We've narrowed down their objective, kind of. So, let's show everyone that we can carry out our duties better than anyone. We're counting on you, Professor. Faisons, faisons, faisons. You seem a mite too relaxed for my liking. The goddess's right of rebirth is about to begin. Bon, pas elle. While we are in the goddess tower. We are relying on you to secure the locations that are lacking in defense. May I let you in on something, Professor? My brother can be a bit... callous. He told me that he was concerned about you, and hinted that perhaps you would be better off patrolling a coffin. <laughs> that was said in jest, Flame, and in confidence. Please just remain by my side and do not cause any more trouble. As a professor, you would do well to remember that it is your <laughs> duty to guide your students down the path of righteousness. Please excuse us, everyone. We shall see you again after the ceremony has concluded. It's time. All right. Let's stick to the plan and go hide where we can watch over the entrance to the Holy Mausoleum. If anyone suspicious enters, we'll follow them in and take them down. Got it? Got it. It is as we suspected. The enemy is within. Those central church dastards have spotted us. Buy me some time while I open the seal on the casket. Okay. I'm on it. Bon bah, si à limite, euh, prochain mois on va XP un petit peu. Et euh, bon bah là on va rusher. They intend to steal her bones. We must defeat those enemies before they open the casket. There are contraptions of some sort in place. Il bougera pas de façon. You'll have to look closely at the enemy's weapons and advance while attacking them from the best positions possible. Next time, bring your friends. A critique 21. Vas-y, t'en trouves critique 21. Don't underestimate. Voilà. Voilà. Be gone. Let's go. Death Knight, prove your strength and scatter these fools. I don't take commands or waste my time on weaklings. That knight looks like he has experience. It would be foolish to challenge him recklessly. Oh, oui. I double. Nice try. Okay, carré, carré, carré. Je pense que juste une attaque comme ça, ce sera bon, hein.
Voilà. Okay. Na, 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 na. Na, na, done is done. Na, na. Bon, il y a de la magie, tout ça me va. Et PSC, je double pas, par contre, épée de fer, je double et je tue. Tac. Voilà. Pas mal. J'aime bien. Hop, nos soins. I must stay focused. Oh le level de zinzin. Ça va, ça va, ça va. Tu mets bien. Hein. Il passe tous au level 9 en plus. Tous mes carrés. Pas mal, pas mal. J'aime bien le. On va faire ça. Là. Ok, ça prend le... Ça prend le level. On prend de la force, j'aime bien. Ouais bah attaque. Voilà. What's next La 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 la. Guess I've gotten better. C'est ok, ça me va. Comme ça. Voilà. Oh mais attends mais c'est un level très bon level ça J'espère qu'attends là avec euh... ouais The reinforcements haven't arrived If they approach from behind, we can attack them from both sides. Ah. Oh, le Zgoud avait ski. Ça, j'aime bien, ça. J'avais pas fait gaffe que t'allais... Ça va, ça va, ça va. Tac, voilà. On prend, on prend, on prend. Tac. C'est un petit pile. Incroyable. Foolish. Ah bah clé de coffre. Ah c'est un petit critique ça You never had a chance. Ah les pieds de fer à casser ça y est. Euh c'est dommage que j'ai dit ça. Oh ils sont derrière. Bon. Should I have held back? Trouve toujours une solution. Just give up. Les mercenaires de Gérard, les gars du early game. Hop, allez. Who's next? C'est pas, pas mal, plus de vitesse, c'est cool. C'est plus de comme ça, donc go. Hein. 
Non, oui. Le level 10. I can feel the difference. Qui va prendre le. qui va prendre le. Arrête de prendre le. Je suppose que j'ai improved. Oui, tu t'as vu. Euh. Après la bagarre. Luck wasn't with you. Euh. 9. Oh non, il bouge. You're too late. The seal will be broken. Cette chienne fait de la magie sans tome. Euh. Toutes les chiennes, tous les chiens d'ailleurs aussi font de la magie sans tome. Et pas de tom dans Sweet Horses. My lessons are complete. Voilà, c'est... Each battle a chance to grow. Comment ça commence à discarre Practice yields results. It's no use. You can't. A sword. Can you do? Ah! Bon, ça c'est mon épée, ça. Ça c'est mon épée. Bah avance, casse lui la gueule, je sais pas. Hein. T'aurais pu attendre un peu. On est pas allé. Il va faire des up B. That sword is. I see. What a pleasant surprise. C'est marrant parce que du coup, si tu le tues, il dit rien. We have no choice but to let them go for now. Professor, the way that sword is glowing. I wonder. Is the intruder here? Oh, looks like you have this under control. You, round up any stragglers. Oula. Will do. En fait. Ouais, je tisse barre, mais du coup, il dit rien. Félix. Félix, mon MVP. Once again. As all of you have committed a breach of faith, the Archbishop will now pass judgment. Inciting a kingdom noble to rebel. Unlawful entry. The attempted assassination of the Archbishop. An attack on the Holy Mausoleum. It is unnecessary to go on, followers of the Western Church. What? We have nothing to do with the Western Church. You have already been identified. Please spare us your second-rate theater. Dishonoring a holy ceremony is worthy of death for a member of the church. You are well past the hope of redemption. If you have any grace remaining, you will willingly offer your life as atonement for this crime. Uh -huh. No, this isn't what we were told would happen. We've been deceived! It's no use arguing. Whatever your excuse, the punishment stands. May your souls find peace as they return to the goddess. Wait. Please. The goddess would never forgive you for our execution. Monster. We know you've already slaughtered many of our fellow brethren like this. This concludes the investigation. Please remove these poor lost souls from my sight. Non mais c'est sympa. Non, il y a bonne ambiance hein, vraiment. There you have it. It seems the assassination attempt and the attack on the Holy Mausoleum were all the work of the Western Church. 
As for the Masked Knight who led the attack, I'm afraid his whereabouts are yet unknown. It makes no sense that the Western Church would try such a thing. It just goes to show that the Church of Saros is not completely united. The Church is led by those here at Garrick Mach, and the Western Church doesn't have a strong voice on its governing council. I imagine the Western Church has harbored some resentment toward the Central Church for a while now. Ah, that's right. Gerald did say that you grew up outside the influence of the Church. The Church of Saros is split into a few branches across Fodlan. The largest being the Central Church, which is headquartered right here at Garrett Mach. The Western Church lies oh, far to the west of Castle Gaspar, where Lord Lenato held his rebellion. It's situated on the far side of the kingdom's most impressive fortress, Arian Road. I imagine the Western Church's intention was to eliminate Lady Rhea and the Central Church's authority along with her. Naturally, the Knights will be riding out to question the Western Church's top officials. Why? Or rather, to punish them. When they do, Your Highness, we will likely be asked to help carry out said punishment. Indeed. Now, I don't mean to be rude, Professor, but I must say your situation is rather unusual. For someone to grow up in Fodlan and yet never have any contact with the Church of Saros is... It's hard to believe. I wonder why the Archbishop would hire someone like that as a professor. So, those people from the Western Church were... Um, Lady Rhea had them killed, didn't she? Well, of course she did. Going against the teachings of Saros like that, quite unforgivable. Those who stray must be punished, I suppose. That said, Professor, I... There you are, Professor. It seems Lady Rhea would like a word with you. Come with me. Shippa! The Archbishop lives. Not that I had ever placed much faith in those swine from the Western Church. I have news, both good and bad. The remains of Saros were not in a tomb. However, something else was. The Sword of the Creator. Ah, the weapon wielded by that thief, the King of Liberation. Thief? Huh. At any rate, it is now in the hands of the Academy's new professor. I doubt you will be surprised to hear that the Crest Stone had already been removed from the sword when it was found. Hmm. As expected. It would be foolish to keep both in the same location. Ah, il va y encore avoir un buff de l'épée. The professor was able to awaken the sword's true power. Even without the Crest Stone, the sword glowed red. The professor's crest is compatible. There is no mistaking it. Absurd. Using a relic without its crest stone should be impossible. The King of Liberation's bloodline should not even... Hmm. They must be allowed to keep it, for now. I do not have enough information about the professor to act. As for your request, I assent. The Death Knight is at your command. Use him well. Good. I believe I will enjoy this a great deal. Okay. <laughs> I cannot thank you enough for defeating those invaders. Ah, d'accord, oh, d'accord. And especially Il y avait bien euh, le, le sauvegarde là, mais c'était post combat. That sword is one of the hero's relics and the most precious artifact in the possession. It is also a weapon of terrifying power. For now, I will entrust the sword to you. Please, use it wisely. Lady Rhea, wait! Do you truly mean to give the sword of the Creator to this... stranger? Surely it is not the sort of thing one hands over so readily, even to someone who has the ability to wield it. If someone like Nemesis were to appear again, Nemesis. all of Fodlan would be consumed by war. Nemesis, the king of ah. liberation. He is an ancient king of mankind who was defeated by Seros over a thousand years ago. When Fodlan was attacked by wicked gods, it is said that the goddess gifted Nemesis with the sword of the creator. Nemesis used that sword to defeat the wicked gods, 
saving all of Fodlan. Henceforth, he was dubbed the King of Liberation. However, his power began to corrupt him until he himself turned to the darkness. Saint Seros was forced to destroy him. Lady Rhea, I beg you to reconsider. Given a little more time, we could more accurately assess this stranger's abilities. No. I have faith, Sereth. Faith that our friend here will not be corrupted by wickedness. Since the death of Nemesis, I have been able to wield the sword of the Creator. Now, after all those long years of being sealed away, Now, after all those long years of being sealed away, it has returned and found a new master. I understand. As you wish, Lady Rhea. There you have it, Professor. See that you do not betray the trust the Archbishop has seen fit to bestow upon you. The sword of the Creator? The King of Liberation? Each tale is more confusing than the last. And I really can't read that Rhea at all. That sword is clearly precious. So why is she so keen to gift the thing to you? Is that a fact? I feel as though we have become entangled in a mystery. Then there is one more thing that has been plaguing me. The Sword of the Creator. It somehow feels distinct from other relics we have seen. On a vu d'autres reliques? Such as the one that... Oh goodness, what was Ciao. her name? Ka... Kat... Ah, Catherine, putain, je suis un connard. Yes, her! The Sword of the Creator is different from her Thunderbrand in one key way. It bears a hole where something should have been. Oh, the gem! Je le sais, je me suis fait spoil par les méchants. Not knowing what is going on, it it frightens me. And yet, I place my trust in you. I must. Whatever comes to pass, please swear to cut a path that is your own. Non mais je je fais que ce que je veux. Ok voilà, et là le chapitre est fini là. Ok. Là le chapitre est fini tout. Ok. Très bien. Donc là si je fais sauvegarder et tac, je vais avoir le 1 ah, et... Euh...